Stars here on the Atlantic 10 Network is coming up right now. Tip is up and controlled by LaSalle. They're going to hand it off to King, and she'll set up the offense for the Explorers. Deja King swings it right. They go to Griffin, dumping it down inside. Now back to Griffin. Nicely guarded by Dotson. Down inside they go. Nice turn hook off the rim. No. Rebound down to LaSalle. Out of bounds to the Patriots. Salina Miller with the shot there. Couldn't get it up and over Butler. And it's an empty possession for LaSalle to begin the ball game. Pushing it the other way. Kaminsky tried to dump it inside the Butler. It falls back to Kaminsky. Sarah blocked from behind. That was Griffin on the block. Now Griffin ahead on the offensive end. Amy Griffin with the basketball on the left wing. Goes around the top. Hands off. That's a deep shot if she had taken. Instead, Miller passes it up. Driving in Freeland. Dumping it inside. And here comes Miller. Miller against Butler again. This time she gets it up and over Natalie for the basket. And it's a 2-0 start for LaSalle. Bolton back to Cardano Hillary up top to Butler. Butler off to Kaminsky. Sarah back to JC. Nice cut by Bolton up and off the glass. And Bolton has the first basket of the ball game for George Mason. 2-2 at the 8.48 mark here in quarter one. Freshman King with the basketball guarded by the freshman Cardano Hillary. The future of the Atlantic 10 on display here as once again Miller putting the work on Butler can't get the go for the third straight possession and now Nikki pushing hard the other way for the Patriots one on one with King she passes up Butler for three and she drains it Natalie Butler welcome the senior day in her fifth year of eligibility knocking down the triple now Griffin on the other end for LaSalle back they go to Miller Miller back to Griffin as she drives into the lane. Kick across. Nice look. Freeland off the glass. No. Rebound down to Butler. Patriots with good defense down in the paint right now. LaSalle's gone down there in every possession. Nikki's pass knocked away. Now Griffin all the way to the basket. And an easy lay in for Amy Griffin. Her first basket of the ball game. Griffin a ball hawk. She loves to steal it and take it to the other end. Similar to Cardano Hillary. And she read that pass all the way. Now Mason will try it again, this time Bolton inside the Kaminsky. Kaminsky against Griffin, hands off to Dotson, stripped away by no one else other than Amy Griffin. Coming the other way, King back to Amy Griffin. Now she lays it up and in again. Just like that at 6-5. LaSalle on top of the Patriots after Amy Griffin with two steals and lay-ins for the Explorers. Now Cardano Hillier on the right wing. Nikki driving in. Jumper from about 15 out, and she gets it to fall. Cardano Hilly with her first basket of the ball game. Two for Bolton, two for Nikki, and three for Natalie here in the early going. Patriots lead 7-6. King gets around Cardano Hilly to the basket, hands it off to Miller. Miller puts it up and good off the back of the rim. It's the Miller and Griffin show so far for LaSalle, and they have the lead 8-7. Dotson down inside the Butler. It's knocked away. Natalie saves it in. Now they send it back to Kaminsky. Inside the Dotson. Kick out Bolton three. Short. Rebound down to Griffin. Griffin brings it up for LaSalle. Now under six and a half left to go here in the first. A few of an active minutes so far in the ballgame. Dumping it down inside. Freeland against a much smaller guard in Cardano. Hillary can't get the layup to go. And the rebound falls to Natalie Butler. Freeland had the matchup she wanted there against Nikki, but Nikki stood strong. And now we'll set up the Mason offense on the other end. Send it back to Butler, a triple on the way. Natalie Butler with her second triple of the ball game. She practices the three a lot in practice. And if teams haven't learned yet this season, that's her eighth and ninth three of the season, but she shoots at over 40% now. Dump it down inside. Miller goes to work on Butler again. Off the glass. Rolls out. That one did everything but go down for Shalina Miller. Now here comes Nikki to the other end. Back to Butler. Good closeout this time by Miller. Not going to let Butler get off another three. And now we have a whistle and a body down on the ground. It's Cardano Hillary. It's a foul called on Shalina Miller. Her first. First team first as well 
for LaSalle. Checking in the ball game, Camry Gatlin, as well as Marika Corpin and Camden Musgrave. Taylor Dodson, Sarah Kaminsky, and J.C. Bolton all checking out for the Patriots. So it'll be Cardano, Hillary, Butler, Gatlin, Musgrave, and Corpinen. Corpinen inbounds to Cardano, Hillary. Nikki around the edge, a Freeland floater up and off the glass. That was an impressive shot by the freshman Cardano, Hillary. Not the first impressive shot she's had this season and probably not the last. Now King. Guarded one-on-one -on -one with Cardano Hillary. They swing it right, stolen away by Musgrave as she joined us here at the scores table. It'll be LaSalle basketball, a nice poke out by Musgrave. Now Griffin passes it in. LaSalle back on the offense, 15 on the shot clock, driving in, floater, no. Rebound down the Butler. That one was Adriana Miller. Downside, they go to Gatlin. Gatlin, one-on-one, -on -one, had it knocked away, and it goes off of Camry's hand as we'll take a break. Patriots regain the lead, 12-8 from beyond the arc, and they were nothing but net both times. LaSalle back on the offensive end. They push it ahead to Amy Griffin. Griffin, one-on-one -on -one against Marika Corpin, gets by to the rim, and it rolls off. Rebound down to Gatlin. Pushing ahead, now Corbin and Corbin and quickly the other way. Down inside they go to Butler. Butler cross court to Musgrave. Camden one-on-one -on -one with Griffin, gives it up to Cardano Hillary. Few subs in the ball game right now as Musgrave gets on the right wing for LaSalle. Sophie Wafong in the ball game for the first time. Down inside with seven on the shot clock and Gatlin forgot to put the ball down. Traveling against the freshman. Dotson checks back in for George Mason, replacing Gatlin. Bolton also checking back in rather quickly. So Musgrave out, Bolton in, and also at the next time now, Allie McCool will check in for the first time. They push it over left side to Amy Griffin. Griffin on the left wing, guarded by Bolton. Nice defense by J.C. as Griffin gives it up. Freeland, a jumper. Too strong, rebound down to Cardano Hillier. That's not Freeland's game by any means. As they pass it the other way, Bolton going right side baseline, cross court. Corbin had fought about the triple instead, gives it to Cardano Hillier at the top of the key. Nikki over to Dodson. Dodson back to Bolton now. Bolton gets it to Butler. Butler on the turnaround jumper, and she knocks down. The field goal, first field goal for Butler from inside the arc in the ball game, and she's got eight. Tried to get a cut, but nice recovery by Natalie Butler as she knocked it away from Freeland. It'll be LaSalle basketball. Butler will check out. Allie McCool checks in. Send it up top quickly to Miller. Adriana Miller loses the basketball. Nicole Cardano Hillary is tripped from behind by Miller. That's going to be a foul on Adriana Miller. That's going to be her first. It's the second against LaSalle as Nikki was going to have a easy jog to the basket with no one trailing at all. But instead a foul as Miller got tangled up with Cardano Hillary's ankles. Bolton at the top to key around the screen. Fakes the triple, now instead to Dotson. Dotson back to Bolton. JC from the free throw line, and it's well short an air ball. Rebound down to Allie McCool with the Patriots. Kicking it out to Bolton, now back over to Cardano Hillary. 7-5 now on the shot clock as Cardano Hillary drives right side. Step back, triple, she gets it up, and it misses everything. Shot clock violation against the Patriots. Cardano Hillary had to get it up high over top of the defender's hands and ultimately she was unable to get it far enough to the rim as time expired. So down to 250 and counting left to go here in the first quarter. Offense hard to come by as of late, 14 to eight. Just two points for Mason, none for LaSalle since the timeout. And now Deja King, the freshman, throws it away. Kaminsky and Alexis, great check back in for the Patriots replacing Corpinen and Cardano Hillary. Right now, LaSalle with zero points in the last 4-15. They're over their last five from the field. Meanwhile, Mason on a 7-0 run over the last 3-23. Mason, six of their last eight from the field. 
Bolton around the screen to McCool. They swing it left. They go down to Alexis. Great. Great up at the top of the key. Now swinging it right to Kaminsky. Kaminsky around the screen. Back to Dotson. Nice defense by the Explorers. Dotson driving in. Kaminsky open for three. Short iron. No good. Rebound down to LaSalle. Nice rebound by Freeland on the box out of McCool. Now King dumping it inside once again. Sophie Wathong going to work. She can't get it to go. Rebound down to Dotson as Wathong, the freshman, pushes it long. Great up top to Dotson. Dotson driving in left side, up and off the glass. No, but she got the foul. She hits the floor hard in frustration. But it'll be two shots for Taylor Dotson. Dotson on the season. Shooting it at 58%. It's going to be the second foul here in the first quarter on Shalia Miller. First one off the mark for Dotson as Butler checks in to replace McCool, who gave quality minutes. Minute 49 left to go as Dotson will shoot the second. Miller heads to the bench with two fouls. Second shot up and in by Dotson. So the lead grows to 15 to 8. 7 is its largest lead of the ball game for George Mason. King driving in right side, nowhere to go, pulls it back out, and then they lose it. King now the third turnover in the last four possessions as she missed a handoff to Griffin. Checking in for the first time in the ball game for the LaSalle Explorers will be Rachelle Brown, the freshman guard from Staten Island, New York. She had been starting most of the games this season for the Explorers. She was actually listed as the probable starter for the game here today on the season. She has started almost every game for LaSalle since conference play started. Nice look for Bolton up and under J.C. Bolton with the fancy version of a layup. Mason's offense now up to a nine point lead at 17 to eight. Griffin sending it right over to Adriana Miller. Miller back across, now down inside they go. Miller back out on the court, knocking it down with the two personal fouls. Shalina Miller. Now Alexis Gray quickly the other way, all the way to the basket, kicking it out. They dump it down inside. Taylor Dotson wide open. Dotson misses the layup. Rebound down to Brown. And now Rachelle Brown will fire it up. Down inside they go. And that's going to be a travel against Shalina Miller. And this is going to be a quarter to forget for Miller even though she did pick up a basket a moment ago and has four points in the ball game. With 49 seconds left to go, George Mason with a seven point advantage at 17 to 10, brings it up. Alexis Great on the point for the Patriots. Both teams with four turnovers here in the first quarter. Great driving all the way to the basket. Alexis Great finding the lane and executing. 19-10 leads back to nine. LaSalle has about a seven different second difference between game clock and shot clock. And that's going to be a travel on the other Miller. Adriana Miller with the travel now for LaSalle. As LaSalle now has turned it over five times here in the quarter. And all five coming in the last three and a half minutes. So now Alexis Gray bringing it over. Great one-on-one -on -one with Rachel Brown. Freshman and the sophomore. Great one-on-one, -on -one looking for space, can't find it. Now gets by Brown, crossover. Loses Brown for a moment. Six seconds left, and Butler doesn't recognize it. Now turns around, fires it up, and it's off the mark, and that's how the quarter is going to end. Patriots were a three seed. Of course, a win today could clinch them with a bye, a big deal for the Flyers as we're back underway in the second quarter. Quickly, St. Joe's on top of Fordham, 10-7. And Richmond on top of George Washington, 16 to eight. That would help the Patriots a lot as we have a travel on Cardano Hillary of the Patriots. George Mason right now at 10 and five, tied with the Colonials at 10 and five as well. So a Mason win and a GW loss to Richmond would clinch Mason as the four seed. They swing it around to the left side, driving all the way in with the floaters. Miller off the mark, rebound down to Shalana Miller. 
Now they go baseline, wide open jumper from Brown off to Mark, rebound down to LaSalle again. They kick it back out, triple on the way now, and that's a complete air ball by Adriana Miller. Shalina Miller and Adriana Miller involved in almost every play with Griffin so far in the ball game. Also Deja King checking back in for LaSalle during the break while Dotson's got a flat tire. All tied up and set to go. She had the tire shoe three times during the dating game on Wednesday night. Now Butler on the right wing, kicking it back up top to Dotson. Dotson looking for the flash, gets it to Kaminsky. Kaminsky downside to Butler and a foul against Miller. That's going to be her third personal foul. Yes, it will be her third personal foul. Shalina Miller as they're actually going to call it her second. They moved one of the fouls from that first quarter over the Wathong. So Wathong called for a foul in that first quarter that was originally charged to Miller. So a lucky break there, only the second actually on Miller. Jumper on the way, short by Cardano Hillary. Rebound down to Kaminsky. They get it over the Dotson, but it's stolen away. Rachel Brown with the basketball, pushing the other way hard against Kaminsky. Floater in the lane, rolls off. Rebound down to the Patriots. Here comes Cardano Hillary. She's got numbers, fake in the lane. No, it rolls off. Would have been a highlight play, and now Cardano Hillary steals it away again. Rachel Brown has her pocket picked in a block by Deja King. Cardano Hillary with two steals, but can't finish on the other end on either. And has to pull it out and start the Mason offense as she was ball hunting there. On both King and Brown. Now Kaminsky on the right wing. Sarah gets it up top to Dotson. Dotson one-on-one -on -one with Brown. Six on the shot clock as Cardano Hilly gets open to the basket and lays it in. Nikki with her second, third basket of the ball game. She has six now, just behind Butler with eight. Butler's been rather quiet since her hot start from beyond the arc. As King dumps it inside to Griffin. Griffin one-on-one -on -one with Kaminsky. Turnaround jumper off the mark. Rebound down to Wafong. And LaSalle will reset. Driving all the way in. King up and off the glass. No. Rebound down to Cardano Hillary. Nikki three on two. Over she goes to Bolton for the lay-in. And we have a timeout in the court. LaSalle 743 equals 23. I'm not a math major, but I do know that. Now a little bit of pressure defense by George Mason, and they have to break it across with Miller. Back to Deja King now. King against the trap. Nice defense by Bolton and Corpinen. Dumping it downside, Wafong in the double team. Kick out Miller for three, off the mark. Rebound down to the Patriots as Wafong just about tackled Dotson. That's going to be the second one, Wafong. After she... Picked up the foul from the first quarter that was changed from Miller to Wafong. Jeff Williams giving instructions to Wafong as they go back down the other end. Butler at the top of the key, guarded closely by Wafong. And it's poked away for a moment, saved in. Griffin with a steal. Eventually comes back to Amy Griffin. Now the other way, she doesn't have numbers. She pulls up instead and knocks it down. Amy Griffin with just her... Six point of the ball game. Miller with the other six for LaSalle. That's all of the scoring so far for the Explorers. Down inside, Natalie Butler, turnaround jumper, rolls off the rim, rebound down to Amy Griffin. Ahead of the pack is Adriana Miller, and she lays it up and in. The third Explorer to score, and Wilson sitting in fourth. George Washington tied in record at 10 and five is in fifth. So Cardano Hillary goes to the right side. Now they swing it up top to Kaminsky. Kaminsky over to Cardano Hillary, driving baseline through the blockers, gets it blocked. Rebound down to Dotson. Back to Kaminsky for three, too strong. Rebound down to Bolton. Back to Cardano Hillary, back to JC, back to Nikki for three. Nice ball movement. Couldn't get to go. Nikki with the board, now driving in baseline. She got a shot up and over Wathong, but couldn't get the fall. Instead, Griffin pushing the other way. They send it back over to King. Deja King down inside. They go to Freeland. Freeland cross court. Adriana Miller driving in. We have a whistle. And it's three seconds against the Explorers. 
It's going to be charged against Wathong for camping out in the paint. Alexis Gray checks in, replacing J.C. Bolton. Mason back on the offensive end with 540 left to go here in the first half. Mason over their last five from the field. Right now it's a 4-0 run for LaSalle since their timeout. They get it down inside the Butler. Butler looking for a cut, doesn't have one. Step back jumper instead, and she knocks it down. Natalie Butler, 10 points, five rebounds, and 13 minutes of work so far for the senior. Griffin driving into the lane, gets it up and over. Butler, no good. Wafong with the put back, and she gets it to go. Butler there a little reserved on the rebound attempt as it would easily would have been an over the back call, if not a foul, on the board opportunity for Butler. Great the other end, guarded by King. Gets it back to Cardano Hillary. Nikki driving all the way to the basket and she gets it to roll. Cardano Hillary now with eight points as she's trying to keep up with Butler. King brings it over, 27 to 16 now. Calling out the play, the freshman looking for the flash, gets it from Griffin, driving in jumper and she gets it to fall. That's Amy Griffin's game, it's the mid range. If you want to compare it to an NBA player, look at DeMar DeRozan of the Toronto Raptors. Loves the mid range. Also can shoot the three and lay it in obviously, but the mid range is where she makes her money. Down inside to Cardano Hillary, step back, triple off the rim, rebound. Will stay with the Patriots as it goes out of bounds off of Deja King. Three subs for the Patriots as Dodson, Kaminsky, and Butler check out. It'll be Allie McCool, Camry Gatlin, as well as Camden Musgrave checking into the ball game for the Patriots. Great gets it in. Allie McCool has her shot blocked by Griffin. Now get back to Cardano Hillary. Allie McCool was an inch away from a layup, but nice recovery by Amy Griffin. Now Griffin pokes it away and steals it from Musgrave. Amy Griffin all alone ahead of the pack, lays it up and in. What a talented player And Amy Griffin. Griffin now with 10 points in the ball game, five of eight from the field, four rebounds in 16 minutes. Alexis great. Guarded once again by King. Swinging up top, McCool, now over to Cardano Hillary. Around the big screen of McCool, she took out two explorers at once. Down inside, it's poked away. Who one else other than Griffin to touch it? Now Adriana Miller with the basketball. Now they go to Griffin on the right wing. She drives baseline all the way to the basket. She gets it to no, not go, but she gets the foul. Looked like it was going to roll home. Instead, it's a foul on Camden Musgrave. It'll be two shots for Amy Griffin. It'll be the first free throw of the ball game for the LaSalle Explorers. Griffin's first one rolls home. On the season, Griffin shoots it at 76%, Musgrave, McCool, and Cardano Hillary out. Back in Taylor Dodson, Natalie Butler as well. So it's Gatlin, Butler, Dodson, Bolton, and Great on the court for the Patriots. Griffin on the second shot, rolls home. 22-27, LaSalle making a little bit of a comeback, a 6-0 run, a quick layup by Camry Gatlin though ends that. Abruptly at 29-22. 6-2 run for LaSalle. They are a perfect three of their last three from the field. Deja King swinging it left to Adriana Miller. Miller gets the screen from Shalina Miller for the three off the mark. Rebound down to Bolton. Now Alexis great to push ahead. Ahead they go to Dodson. Dodson driving baseline. Gets all the way through. Tried to pass it out. Stolen away. Deja King ahead to Griffin, and we have a foul and the basket. And and one for Amy Griffin. Griffin with 14 points against the Patriots back in Philadelphia. She now has 14 points here in the first half with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah. 
Now Griffin puts up the and one. So the lead is down to four at 29-25 with 2.39 left to go. Four of their last five from the field for the Explorers. The only one was the layup missed by Griffin, but she was fouled on the play. Now Cardano Hilly driving in. They get it in the Butler. Butler goes to work up and off the glass short. Rebound down to Dotson. Back to Butler. Butler back to Taylor now. And Mason will pull it back out. LaSalle really locking down on defense, out leading, outscoring the Patriots here in the quarter, 14-11. They go down inside the Gatlin, it's knocked away. Deja King with the steal, this time for the Explorers. Pushing ahead, Griffin. A few subs back in the ball game for LaSalle. In the ball game right now, Jasmine White, the freshman from Huntington, New York. They get it down inside, now outside the Griffin, and we have a travel against Amy Griffin. Before she got the shot off, she missed it anyway. The board came directly to Gatlin who now checks out to be replaced by Kaminsky. So Cardano Hilly brings it up. A minute 45 left to go here in the first half. George Mason's led by as many as 13 with 7.40 left to go here in the second. The lead's now down to four. Kaminsky, a deep triple on the way, no. Rebound down to Butler. Butler with the putback, can't get it to go. Rebound down to the Explorers and she goes out of bounds. It'll be Patriot basketball as Griffin fell out of bounds with the ball. And Kaminsky will inbounds for the Patriots. Sarah gets it up ahead to Dotson. Dotson across to the right to Cardano Hillary. Nikki around Griffin and swatted into Green Machine. Amy Griffin with her second block. Remind you, the South Explorers are fourth in the A-10 in blocks on the season and blocks per game. Griffin with two so far for herself, four as a team for LaSalle. They get it inside, now they bring it out. Cardano Hillary, over to Kaminsky for three again. Sarah too strong, rebound down to Shalina Miller. It's knocked out of bounds by Kaminsky. Stay with LaSalle. As the Explorers bring it ahead with Deja King. King works right, trying to get it to White, does so. Now they get it to a cutting Griffin, to a cutting Miller for the lay-in. LaSalle is now down just two points, 29-27. Mason owe their last five from the field. Butler at the top of the key. In fact, Mason just one of their last eight from the field, while LaSalle is five of their last six. Butler down in the block, one dribble, picks up her dribble. Now the hook shot up and off the glass. She misses it all. Rebound down to Kaminsky. Under 10 on the shot clock. They get inside the Butler. Butler step back, looking for space, cross court, triple on the way, off the back iron, no, rebound down to Butler. Triple was shot by Cardano Hillary, and Butler lays it up and in. 31-27 as LaSalle can finally hold for their final shot of the half. Mason will end the half just one of their last seven from the field. LaSalle right now five of their last six. Five as Griffin fires up a jumper. It's off to Mark White with the rebound. They fire it out. One, it's off if it's good. And no, it's off to Mark. And the George Mason Patriots. Patriots on at the half 31-27. It'll be Explorer ball to begin the third. As it's inbounded to Deja King. Now we have a kickball on Bolton to begin the half. Six seconds off the clock and they'll reset again. LaSalle able to make a run going into the half. They were down by as many as 13 with seven minutes left to go before the break and they got it down at one point to two points. Back to four right now as Shalina Miller goes to work against Butler. Off the mark, rebound down to Natalie. And here comes Cardano Hillary on the offensive end. Nikki around the screen of Butler, and that's going to be a foul on Shalina Miller. Now her third personal. She's got three now. Sophie Wathong with two as well, her replacement. It's the first team foul of the quarter against LaSalle. Bolton will inbound over here in front of us at the scores table as Dotson had to tie up the flat tire for the second time in the ballgame. Stolen away, Amy Griffin. Pick the pass out of the air and goes coast to coast for the lay-in. Feel like 
been on repeat all game long, but that's what Griffin has done over and over again to the Patriots. As Cardonia Hillary now gets it to Dotson. Dotson on the right wing, gets inside to Butler, up and off the glass. Natalie Butler finds the hoop and the basket. 33-29, the lead's back to four for the Patriots. Asia King, guarded closely by Cardano Hilly. Nikki steals it away, picks it off on the right wing, pushing ahead all the way to the basket, gets it back to Butler for the lay-in. A nice behind-the-back pass by Nicole Cardano Hillary. Asia King brings up. She's got a little bit of a limp going now of her left leg after having it stolen away last possession. They get it up top to Freeland. She's been quiet in the ball game. Now over to Amy Griffin. Griffin back to Shalina Miller for the jumper. Rolls off. Loose ball out of bounds to LaSalle. As Freeland had the board but was poked away by the Patriots. Explorers inbound. They get it in to Freeland. Freeland sends it up top to Deja King. Freeland still with zero points in the ball game and stolen away. J.C. Bolton now will put the brakes on here as she sends into the corner to Kaminsky. Kaminsky down inside the Butler, it's stolen away. It's Miller this time passing ahead to Griffin who passes it back to Miller. She loses the ball, now the Freeland kick out over the Griffin for three and she's off the mark. Rebound down to no one and it'll go out of bounds to George Mason as it rolled off of Freeland. Walthong in the ball game replacing Shalina Miller. Miller, of course, will sit with three personal fouls. However, she's the only other explorer to score more than two points in the ball game. She has eight. Only four LaSalle explorers have scored today as Bolton receives on the right wing. They get it over the Butler. Butler back to Kaminsky. Swinging it across Dotson. And we have an offensive foul on Butler as Wathong hits the deck. That was a little bit of a questionable call as it looked like Butler and Wathong were going for the same piece of real estate. When you get big post players down in the post, they're going to bounce off each other from time to time. And that's all that appeared to be. Nonetheless, the first personal foul against Butler, they work it inside the Wathong and she puts it up and in over top of Natalie. 35-31, LaSalle hanging around with the Patriots while only four Explorers have scored. Kicking out Bolton down inside Dodson. Taylor Dodson kicking out, triple on the way and it's short by Cardano Hilly, rebound down the Freeland. Now King with numbers pushing ahead for LaSalle. she pull it out and they'll send it down inside to Adriana Miller. Miller cross court, Griffin for three, too strong. Rebound down to Amy Griffin, put back up and good off the glass. Amy Griffin, a tough one to stop as she now has 19 in the ball game. Cardano Hilly up at the point, goes around the screen of Dotson, a foul on Griffin. They're going to, going to call a foul against Amy Griffin. It'll be her first, second team foul of the quarter against LaSalle. Kaminsky checks out. Camden Musgrave checking in to replace Sarah. Dotson inbounds to Cardano Hillary. Nikki over the Camden on the right wing. Musgrave yet to score in the ball game. Played very well as Coach T commended her against Dayton off the bench. Bolton looking for space. Instead, it's over on the right wing back to Musgrave. Camden around the screen back to Butler. Butler with the step back jumper and she knocks it down. Natalie Butler with 18 points, eight rebounds so far in the ball game. Six minute mark here in quarter number three. They get it over to Griffin. Griffin on the left wing gets around Musgrave. Almost had it poked away. Instead, they get it over to Miller. Now back to Griffin. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Dotson. Loose ball, still loose. Eventually gathered by J.C. Bolton. Went off the backside of Cardano Hillary as Nikki now pushes ahead. Kick to the corner. Musgrave for three. 
Back iron, no. Rebound down to, well, it came down to Dodson, but she stepped out of bounds. Coach Millicent visibly disagrees with the call. And Cardano Hilly momentarily hit the deck with her ankle. And now looks like Nikki's gonna check out as she fell back down. A little bit of perspiration on the floor as Great's gonna check in and replace Cardano Hillary. Appears to be running fine as she checks out. It'll be LaSalle ball at the far end of the court after a puzzling set of plays. Dotson stepped on the baseline to turn it over on the rebound. Then Coach Millicent exchanging words with the referee about the call. And in the process, Cardano Hillary goes down around midcourt, holding her ankle. Stolen away. Camden Musgrave ahead of the pack. It's poked away from behind by Griffin. It'll stay with the Patriots. But Amy Griffin, she has got to be the definition when you look in a dictionary for ball hawk. She finds the basketball. She gets the basketball almost every time. They get it over the Camden Musgrave, closely guarded by Griffin. She puts it up and is fouled hard as Musgrave will head to the line for two. It'll be 44. Freeland with the foul originally called on Griffin. It'll be Ashante Freeland. Freeland's first personal. Third team foul against LaSalle here in the quarter. Still 521 left to go. Mason in good position to get the bonus here in the quarter. Musgrave knocks down the front end. On the season for Camden, she shoots it at 82% from the charity strike. Musgrave's second one is up and good as well. Knocking down the pair, Camden in the scores column for the first time today with two. She becomes the seventh Patriot to score in the ball game. Deja King guarded closely by Alexis Great. Great makes her pass it up. Adriana Miller with the basketball now, guarded by Musgrave. 15 on the shot clock as they swing it around the Freeland. Freeland quickly gives it up. Now it's back up top with Deja King. Eight on the shot clock as King goes all the way to the basket and rolls off the rim. Rebound down to Butler, her ninth. Now Bolton ahead on the offense, cross court Musgrave. Catches it like a touchdown, tried to lay it up but couldn't get the roll home. Instead it's Wathong down with the rebound and here come the Explorers. King ahead to Griffin. Griffin cross court, triple on the way. Adriana Miller knocks it down. The first triple of the ball game for the Explorers. One of six now in the ball game. Lexus great, hands it off to Bolton. Now back up top to go Dotson. Left side, Musgrave inside the Bolton. Bolton back to Taylor Dotson for the lay-in. Taylor Dotson with her first field goal of the ball game. And the Mason lead is up to five at 41-36 at the four minute mark. And now Deja King guard closely once again by Great. Great pokes it away. You could see that steal coming as Great was sizing her up, pushing ahead to Bolt in the lay-in. No foul, excuse me, the foul, but no basket. One, regardless of who the opponent is, it could be these LaSalle Explorers back here on Tuesday. Bolton knocks down the front end of two. She was fouled on the fast break a few moments ago. Second one up and good as well. The lead now up to seven at 36-43. 3.54 left to go here in the third. Briskly played ball game just 3.08 Eastern time. Send it over to Griffin on the left wing. Griffin bringing it back towards the top. Now kicks it to the corner to Deja King. Getting it down inside. Nice defense by Allie McCool who's in the ball game. Rebound down to Cardano Hillary. And now a missed pass there from Cardano Hillary towards Corfinan will be a turnover for the Patriots. It'll be the 15th turnover of the ball game. Mason at 11 at the half, just four so far here in the third quarter. As they send it over left side to Adriana Miller. Miller guarded by Kaminsky, dumping it down inside. Miller with the left hand. 
She has had the hot hand throughout the ball game with the exception of Griffin. She now has 10 points in the ball game. They get over the court and then we have a whistle off the ball. It's a foul on Freeland as she was trying to keep Gatlin out of the paint. It'll be the second personal foul against Ashanti Freeland. It is the fifth team foul. It'll be two shots now as the Patriots are in bonus. So it'll be Camry Gatlin to shoot two. Be her first trip to the free throw line in the ball game. First one off the mark too strong by Camry. Gatlin on the season just shooting it at 35% as McCool checks out. Butler back in. Dodson is set to check in for Gatlin. Of course, Gatlin having to shoot the two shots. Second one by Gatlin, up and no good. Rebound down to Adriana Miller, pushing ahead Amy Griffin. Griffin brings it across half court, guarded by Marika Corpinen. Freshman has played very well defensively here in the ball game. Driving in, now the jumper in the lane by Miller off the mark. Rebound down to Sarah Kaminsky. Kaminsky ahead to Cardano Hillary. Nikki does not have numbers as she wisely pulls it back out. They go back to Cardano Hillary, downside Natalie Butler, up and off the glass for Natalie Butler. 20 points, 19 rebounds here on senior day for Natalie Butler. Deja King. Guarded by Cardano Hillary, they swing it right to Amy Griffin. Jumper by Griffin, rattles out. Rebound down to Freeland, and now a foul against, I believe it'll be Gatlin. Actually on Kaminsky. For Kaminsky, her first personal foul. Just a second team foul against Mason, so they're not on the verge of bonus or anything. With 2.22 left to go here in the third. It'll be two shots for Ashanti Freeland trying to get her first point of the ball game. Freeland's free throw is up and good. On the season, Freeland shooting from the free throw line at 56%. Gatlin and Kaminsky check out, so you're five on the floor now for the Patriots are Natalie Butler, Marika Corpening, Cardano Hillary, as well as J.C. Bolton and Taylor Dotson. Freeland knocks down the pair. She now has two points in the ball game as Cardano Hillary comes up for the Patriots. Nikki with eight points, just a basket away. She almost loses the basketball. Now back to Bolton, now over to Corpinen. Marika Corpinen swings it right towards Cardano Hillary. Around the screen, splits the double team, up and under, can't get the fall. A nice look though by Cardano Hillary. She almost comes up with a steal of Freeland instead. It'll be Amy Griffin pushing ahead for LaSalle. Adriana Miller with the basketball. They swing it back up top to Griffin, and we have a whistle and an offensive foul. It's going to be on Shalina Miller. That's going to be her fourth personal foul in the ballgame. It'll be the sixth team foul against LaSalle, but since it's offensive, it won't be for free throws as Cardano Hilly checks out. Excuse me, Corpinen checks out. Alexis Great checks back in, so it's Great, Dotson, Bolton, Cardano Hillary, and Butler. So a minute 40 left to go as Eagle Bank is almost dead silent at this juncture. Alexis Great over on the right wing. Patriots lead 45-40 as Cardano Hilly hits the jump shot. It's off the mark. Rebound down to Butler. Her 29 straight double-double. A triple on the way, J.C. Bolton off the mark, rebound down to Freeland. But that right there, ladies and gentlemen, the 29th straight double-double for Natalie Butler. Triple on the way from Miller off the mark, rebound down to Wafong, blocked from behind by Butler, and she eventually gets it to go. And the foul. So count the basket, the foul on Alexis, great. Her second personal foul, the third team foul in the quarter against George Mason. For Natalie Butler, now with 29 straight double doubles, obviously leads the country this season in that mark. She's also now tied for the third longest streak in NCAA Division I history for a streak of double doubles, and those can go over the course of two seasons combined together. She already is tied with Courtney Paris for the longest 
single season streak at 29 as well. Alexis Great pushing ahead. Great swinging up top to Butler. Butler trying to get to Cardano Hill. He eventually does. And now a travel called on Nikki. So it will be another turnover for the Patriots. Turnover number 16 in the ball game. The fifth by Cardano Hillary. As there's a minute left to go here in the third, and it's a one possession ball game. 45-42. Adriana Miller with the basketball. They swing it around right side to Amy Griffin. Griffin guarded by J.C. Bolton. She gives it up to Deja King. Down to 10 on the shot clock as they pass it inside. Griffin with the fake, and that's going to be a travel, and she knew it. Amy Griffin visibly frustrated with herself as she remembered taking the extra step. 43.8 left to go here in the quarter. It's George Mason basketball. Alexis Great bringing it up. Gets the call from Coach Millicent. And here comes the flash by Bolton. Bolton receives on the left wing. Now up top to Taylor Dotson. Dotson driving in on Freeland. Turn around, puts it up in what looked like an obvious foul, not called. And LaSalle can hold for the final shot and possibly tie the ball game with either a triple or an and one. Lexus Great guarding him closely down the 10 now left in the quarter. They get it up to Freeland and stolen away. Pass ahead, Cardano Hilly ahead of the pack, laying up and good for Nikki. And that's how the third quarter is going to end. 47-42, three points, four rebounds, two assists in 27 minutes of action for Taylor Dotson. Now Kaminsky with the basketballs, we're back underway. Kaminsky to a cutting bolt and stolen away. Nice idea, but poor execution as Freeland picked it off. Now Deja King sitting around left side. Miller with the basketball, one dribble, sends it back to Griffin. Downside to Wafong, backing down on Butler. She puts it up, it's off the mark, rebound down to Natalie Butler. Here comes Cardano Hill the other way for the Patriots, Nikki. Passing back to Butler. Butler thought about the triple and said drives and passes to Bolton. Now Dodson. And we have a three-second call against Butler. They get Butler for camping out at the 9-21 mark. 47-42 your score. Mason trying to clinch the fourth seed in the A-10 tournament. And a win against LaSalle would bring the Explorers back to Fairfax on Tuesday. Now Freeland gets the loose ball back to Griffin. Griffin, jumper, fake the jumper. In fact, that was a pass to Wafong as Wafong gets the lay in easily for LaSalle. The lead down the three at 47-44. Cardano Hilly back to Butler, now over to Bolton. Nice flash, Kaminsky for three. Off the mark, missed the entire rim. And it's out of bounds off of Taylor Dodson who had hit while Taylor was standing on the green. Tough break for the Patriots as LaSalle for at least the fifth time here in the second half has a chance to at least tie the ball game. They've been unable to do it. Their only lead and tie was a 2-0 lead to begin the ball game and a 2-2 tie. And now an offensive foul call on Deja King. That's the first team foul for LaSalle here in the fourth. That could go a long way in hurting the Explorers. Obviously, the Patriots getting the bonus early in the fourth would definitely help out the cause. Cardano Hillary gets it over. They swing it down into the corner to Bolton, back to Butler. Butler with the step back jumper over top of Wathong. Wathong there, unable to block Butler's shot, and Natalie made her pay. 8-15 and counting left to go here in Fairfax as Deja King sends it left side to Amy Griffin. Griffin with an offensive foul as she pushes down Bolton. And Bolton still on the ground as she slowly makes her way back up to her feet after Griffin with the clear out. Griffin just shakes her head in frustration as she immediately probably knows that she cleared out on that one a little too hard. For Griffin, that's gonna be her second Personal Fowler, six turnover. Butler on the right wing, up top to Dotson. Taylor Dotson around the screen is Kaminsky. Kaminsky yet to hit a triple in the ball game. 
Down inside they go to Butler, kick out Bolton, driving left side, kick out Dotson. Fakes a three, five on the shot clock, finds Cardano Hillary for three instead, off the rim, no. Rebound down to Bolton. Coach Millicent pointing at Kaminsky to run some time here as we're at the seven and a half mark. Cardano Hillary around the double screen, jumper in the paint, gets it to fall. Back iron for the assist there as it hit strong, went straight up and straight down. 51-44, the lead is back to seven now for George Mason. And that's going to be a foul on Cardano Hillary. That's Nikki's first personal in the ball game. First team foul against the Patriots as well. Cameron Gatlin checks in, replacing Kaminsky. It's LaSalle basketball, however, no one's coming to throw it in. Now Griffin finally makes her way over. So Griffin inbounds to Deja King. King one on one against Cardano Hillary. She works left side, switches on the bolt, and now back to Nikki. Goes right side, Amy Griffin. Down the corner, they go to Adriana Miller. Back out, now they try to fight Wathong, they do, and she gets a tough shot up and over top of Butler. Nice look by Sophie Wathong. Now they're back to Butler who faced the three, drives, kicks to Dotson. Dotson puts it up, can't get it to go. She hits the deck, and it's out of bounds to LaSalle. Coach Millison begging for a foul as Dotson continues to throw it up and not get any fouls called her way. In fact, Dotson has shot two free throws in the ball game. They came on the second possession of the ball game, and she made one of two. Swing it over the right side, triple on the way. Miller, too strong, rebound, out of bounds to LaSalle as it goes off of Gatlin. Salina Miller back in, replacing Wathong, and Kaminsky back in to replace Gatlin. 6.26 left to go. Score updates from around the Atlantic 10. Davidson on top of VCU at the end of the third quarter, 49 to 45. And now, Miller at the top of the key. Griffin, left side jumper, knocks it down. Mid-range game all day for Amy Griffin. Give her now 21 in the ball game. Cardano Hilly breaks the corner and it's out of bounds to the Patriots. And they do have a foul call, the late foul, as Nikki landed out of bounds. It looked like an obvious foul on David Deja King. Excuse me there, as King is eventually called for the foul. Patriot basketball as Kaminsky inbounds. Gets it up to Cardano Hilly, down inside the Natalie Butler. Nice spin move by Butler. Natalie Butler leads all scorers with 24 points, 12 rebounds in 30 minutes of work. Now Deja King sending it over to the right side to Griffin. Griffin up top, they go to Miller. Shalina Miller with the jumper off the mark. Rebound down to Butler. Here comes Cardano Hillary, coast to coast as she drives in. Jumper from the free throw line, too strong. Rebound down to Butler. Her putback is blocked, they're going to say. And now they swing it around right side to Kaminsky. Now Kaminsky will pull it back out. And Cardano Hillary will set the point. Go over into the corner of the Nikki now. Nikki going baseline, looking for space, doesn't get it, throws it up, doesn't get a foul. Instead, Butler comes up with a loose ball, and now we have an offensive foul called on Natalie Butler. The inbound to Deja King. King looking against Cardano Hillary, instead gives it up to Griffin. Griffin with 21 points so far. She'd be the person you'd want to have the basketball in her hand. Adriana Miller with the basketball now, guarded by Cardano Hillary. Looking for space against Dotson, gives it up to Deja King. Deja King driving right side baseline, cross court pass, triple on the way, Miller off the mark. Rebound down to Butler, ahead to Dotson, ahead to J.C. Bolton, just out of the reach of J.C. And that's a tough one for Coach Millicent, we'll step aside. If you win in a St. Bonaventure loss, would send LaSalle here to Fairfax. And if both GW and St. Bonaventure win, it'll be the Bonnies here in Fairfax on Tuesday night. And now a throw away by Amy Griffin, and she shows visible frustration there as she misses 
An easy pass inside to Miller. Of course, if GW loses, George Mason will be the four seed. If George Washington wins, the two teams will be tied at 11 and five, and GW has the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. A foul on Deja King of LaSalle after GW swept the Patriots this season, both here and in Foggy Bottom. So if the Colonials are able to claw back in and win, right now they're down 13 to Richmond at home. As Cardinia Hilly re-inbounds, they would be the four seed. If they lose, Mason is the four seed. Taylor Dotson, wide open, jumper just inside the arc, off the mark, rebound down to Deja King. King around the left side to Amy Griffin, jumper mid-range, and she knocks it down. Amy Griffin is automatic from just inside the arc. And now Mason will slow it down as it's a one possession ball game once again. Cardano Hilly gets it ahead to Bolton. Bolton across to Kaminsky. They swing it around right side to Nikki. Nikki driving in, splits the double team, and a foul called. Is it going to be on Amy Griffin? It is. That is Griffin's third personal foul. It is the fifth team foul against LaSalle. It'll put Cardano Hillary, the freshman, on the line to shoot two. Nikki once again in double digits as she's been in all 30 games this season. 12 points for the freshman. Her first free throw of the ball game falls in. 54-50. Kaminsky checks out. Camden Musgrave in for George Mason. And the second one falls home as well for Cardano Hillary. So now LaSalle down five, 55-50. Deja King and we have a whistle, a timeout has been a thorn in the side of the Patriots all game long. Inbounds in to Amy Griffin. Amy Griffin sending it right to Adriana Miller. Miller driving in against Musgrave, throws up the shot off the mark and is out of bounds off of Butler as she visits Green Machine. It'll be LaSalle basketball under their own basket with 3.21 left to go. Mason over the last four from the field, no field goals in the last 2.36 for the Patriots. In fact, just eight points for both teams here in the quarter. They get it down inside, and a jumper by Freeland as she gets it to fall home. Three-point ball game at 55-52. For Donnie Hilly bringing it over half court. Now, Cardano Hillary over the Musgrave. Musgrave fakes right, looks left, gives it off to Dotson, now over the Bolton. Cardano Hillary in the corner, around the screen, jumper in the paint, and it's too strong. Rebound down to Miller. Jelina Miller pushing ahead to Griffin, ahead to Freeland, and she's fouled hard by Dotson. So Freeland will go to the line for two. It's a foul on Dotson. That's Dotson's first personal. Third team foul against George Mason. Mason now over their last five and one of their last seven from the field. More situations coming in thanks to our SID at George Mason, Jerome Bosher, who is handing me all the different scenarios, which are way too many to read to you. So we'll wait for the conclusion of this one. At least that's the plan right now to give you the possible scenarios for the Patriots. Freeland can't get the fall, and it's 55-53. They get inside the Bolton. Nice look in the foul for J.C. Bolton and the Patriots. Needed that one some kind of bad. It'll be one shot coming for Bolton. On the season, J.C. shooting it fairly well from the free throw line at 80% on the dot see the visible frustration in the ball game for the Patriots as they've been unable to break away and Bolton's free throw is off the mark. Rebound down to Natalie Butler. Butler picks up the loose ball and now fires it over the Bolton. Nice catch by J.C. almost like a catcher. Had to block down low like a backstop. Now they get over the Musgrave. Musgrave driving in, getting inside the Butler, up and off the glass and Natalie Butler is trying to push the Patriots to the playoffs. 2.10 left to go on senior day. Deja King with the basketball. They now trail by six, 59-53. They go around to Amy Griffin. Jumper short by Griffin. Rebound down to King, though, so LaSalle gets it back. 
And now they'll give it to King to reset the offense. Under two minutes left to go in Fairfax. Working right side, King almost loses the ball, sends it over to Adriana Miller. Miller had it blocked by Butler. It'll stay with LaSalle, 14 on the shot clock. Minute 41 left to go. Quick score update while we wait. Duquesne has gotten back in front of St. Bonaventure, 67-63 with two minutes left. Almost stolen away by Cardano Hillary again. King with the basketball at the Mason logo. Getting it over to Miller. Miller with nowhere to go, and it's out of bounds again. Another block pass by Natalie Butler, and there's four seconds left to go on the shot clock. And Natalie Butler's gonna go over to block the inbounder here, Deja King. King backed all the way up against the seats, trying to see over top of Butler. She gets it in the Griffin. Griffin with three, fires up a deep triple. It's off the mark. Rebound. No, it's a shot clock violation before it happens. A minute 28 left to go. It'll be Mason basketball with LaSalle down six. Here comes Cardano Hillier. A little bit of pressure. She breaks it relatively easily. And now a foul on Amy Griffin. That's the fourth on Griffin. So both Deja King and Amy Griffin with four personal fouls in the ball game. And the first one falls down, 60-53. And she knocks down the second, 61-53. It's a eight point ball game. Here comes Deja King in the Explorers. Good defense by Cardano Hillary to give it over to Griffin who shoots it off the back guy and rebound down to Dotson and a foul over the back against Adriana Miller and the Patriots are starting to smell it with a minute seven left to go. A final score, George Washington falls at home on senior day to Richmond 49-36, therefore, if Mason can hold on the win, George Mason will be the fourth seed. We still are waiting to find out who they will be playing. We'll get that to you hopefully in just a moment as we're waiting on the Duquesne-St. Bonaventure game to go final. Taylor Dotson knocks down the second, couldn't get the first. Still a nine-point lead, a minute seven left to go. You're the Patriots, you gotta guard Griffin, and you gotta guard Adriana Miller. She's the deep threat for LaSalle. Now they drive in with Deja King, kicking it out. They get it inside to Miller. Miller up off the glass, rebound down to Dotson. Pushing ahead, J.C. Bolton. Bolton on the right wing, gives it back to Cardano Hillary, and we're gonna have a foul called on Adriana Miller. She goes up and taps Nikki on the side for the Unintentional, intentional foul. So right now, Mason will be the four seed if they can hang on the win. Cardano Hillary will shoot two, up nine right now, make it up 10 as she makes that one 63-653. If St. Bonaventure wins, if St. Bonaventure loses, excuse me, we will play the Bonnies as that one is a foul on Natalie Butler. Butler called for a platoon in Fairfax. A good crowd on hand today here at Eagle Bank. Patriots trying to send the seniors out in style as they get it inside the Freeland. Freeland goes to work, throws it up off the mark, out of bounds, it with four points, seven rebounds and two assists. And now a foul called against Deja King. That's her fifth. King has fouled out of the ball game. And Cardano Hillary will head to the line for two. That should be the fifth foul on Deja King is yes, she has fouled out. So checking into the ball game will be Brown. Rachelle Brown not playing a whole lot today after projected as the starter. Marika Corpin checking in now as Cardano Hillary knocks down the front one. The lead up to 11 at 64-53. It was close throughout 
but George Mason was able to turn it on down the stretch as Cardano Hilly increases the lead to 12. Checking in, Marika Corbin, and out comes Cardano Hillary with 19 points. Her fifth straight ball game of 19 or more points. She's had 19 four times, 24 last time out against Dayton. Griffin swinging around to the left side, poked away by Bolton. Now they send it back up top to Rachel Brown. 20 seconds left to go in the regular season. Shot up and good. That's Griffin again. Give her 25 now in the ballgame. And Camden Musgrave passes ahead to J.C. Bolton, and the clock will be run out. George Mason, for the first time in program history, is going to win 22 games in the regular season.